Here is another question on critical reasoning. This is Preetinder Kaur and let's put down our scratch paper first. The question is which of the following if true helps to explain why acting on the consultant's recommendation fails to achieve its goals. So consultants gave a recommendation that could not achieve its goal and we have to show why did this happen. So the argument says in order to reduce number of items damaged in transit. So damaged in transit. In order to reduce that, uh, the consultants recommended that you increase the amount of packing material to fill empty spaces. To increase the packing material. So that is basically the recommendation. To fill the empty spaces. All right, accordingly, the officials instructed the packers to use more packing material and they zealously acted and used as much as they could. Still, reports of damaged items increased. So that is something weird that is happening, but the damaged items still increased. Now, why is this happening? A says the change in policy led to increase in expenditure. We are not talking about money over here. No relation with money. B says when packing material is compressed too densely, it loses the capacity to absorb shock. That means it may become ineffective. So yes, that can be one reason. So let's keep B. C says the amount of packing material used does not influence the ease with which a customer can unpack. Now we are not talking about the ease with which a customer can unpack. So C is eliminated. D says most of the goods are electronic goods that are vulnerable to being damaged. That does not explain why uh, the damages increase in spite of more packing material. And he says they lost some of the regular customers because of the high number of damaged items they received. Now that does not explain why increase in packing material led to increase in damaged goods. That is just an after effect. So that is the reason why B is your answer. Thank you so much for watching this video.